You know, what's going on? I guess Happy New Year to, to the people. I don't know when this will be posted. should be posted uh, today, which is the 29th. Let me just say, I'm in a parking lot. I just saw a, shit, I thought it was a man, white man getting in and out of the car. Then, as the person got out of the car, I see that it was a uh, lesbian. Short haircut, t-shirt, jeans uh, wearing tight. And of course, fat. Looking like a a dude. And she had three female uh, children with her. They look mixed. And I'm like, damn, you see? Why did they want to have kids? Even though that's not what this video is about, but why did they want to have kids but be gay? You want to be gay, take all that that goes along with it. Now these kids got to be tortured, if not, uh, you know, tampered with. And I don't even know if that's her natural kid looking at her. She doesn't look like she would even be the type to deal with a man just to have a baby either. And they had to be half black, too. Man. Shit is crazy. That's the whole, that's the point of this video. The shit is changing. They forcing the change on us. On a whole lot of shit. This motherfucker just parked. And the guy almost hit me earlier today, too. <laughs> he didn't have to make that move. Then, once he made a little bit of it, he kept trying to go. This is why I can't have a gun on me, because I know everything is crazy. And the roads are packed like crazy for the whole week. But, damn. White dude. But, um, you know, white man, small hat in particular, they're uh, changing the complexion of the United States. All these immigrants, Hispanics in particular, like I always tell you, Asians are all set. That's why you never hear them complaining. Because they're allowed to do what the hell they want to do. Come here and get paid as much as they want to get paid. And nothing ever happens. They're just fine. No need to complain. Even had uh, <clears throat> two so-called East Indians running for so-called president. One that's a prime minister of the UK. One that's a so-called vice president of the United States. So apparently the white man is comfortable with them. And they're not even classified as white. That's the funny part about it. Then you got so-called Arabs. Who are classified as white. Here she comes again. I should take a fucking picture if I could. <clears throat> Little girls are cute. She's holding their, their hands and shit. I'd be embarrassed like a motherfucker. Why is she looking around? So Now with this camera being held, I watch her think I'm uh, recording her. But, um, as she come here, it is going to be what it's going to be. But what they're doing is they're, uh, switching everything around and literally changing the complexion of the United States. But for what aim, we don't know. So she keeps looking, she keeps thinking I'm recording her. But for what aim, we don't know. They go to the store, they don't even buy nothing. They're not even coming out with nothing. So what's the point in going out there? Unless she took him to the bathroom. Child abuse. But anyway. Uh, <laughs> um, let me just say this. See, even in, in this place where I stay at. When I first got here, black people were running the building. So it goes to show even private companies are all connected to the order. But um, black people are running the show. I think the top one was a white. Because you know they don't really like putting black people at the top. Top. You know. <clears throat> but um, 
they were in control for the most part. And once uh, a black one moved up to the top, he hired more black people. Which is what you should do. Yes, I'm back to the water. I bought me a whole... I don't know how many in this this uh, case, but could be 20. <laughs> so, that was cool. That's what you do. Bring in your own people. Then they had a, a white person in control. They still had black people throwing a few couple of sprinkling of Mexicans. And like I say, Mexicans, not uh, not Puerto Ricans, the Dominicans now. So Puerto Ricans, and Dominicans got to understand, you know, <clears throat> they got issues too. The fuck is this now? They switching over kids and she's kissing them goodbye. And she kissed the oldest one, the strongest. Let's see, um, they're doing an exchange. But this lady got New Jersey plates. It's a hell of an exchange. Uh, <laughs> so, she's out of there. Looks like the exchange is to a black female. Hey, I'm being nosy. It's right in front of me. So, we know the boat and the end. The lesbian and uh, this black female driver. <clears throat> Shit, they didn't even say hi or bye to each other. They didn't even acknowledge each other. So <laughs> I'm guessing that they're not on friendly terms. And I'm guessing that that lady, she may not be gay. Shit, for all we know, this could be her brother's uh, children. But still odd, odd exchange of, of children. I don't know, man. I, I'm, I'm thinking to myself, man, with a, a lesbian of that type. How the fuck she survived having three kids? Or how, how did a man stay with her having three kids? I'm thinking she must have looked quite different when she was with the guy and then started getting gay <laughs> later on and changed shit around. Because there ain't no way in hell no female looking like this. Is going to be with a man and have three kids. No way in hell. And the oldest one looked like she might be around, what? 11 to 12. And the youngest looks like she's around five, six years old. So that's a long time for a lesbian to stick around a man and, and, and have some kids. Unless they're all adopted. But again, this, this lady... The, the driver and this lady didn't even acknowledge each other. They, I didn't even see them even speaking. They didn't even look in each other's faces. All she did was drop the kids off, hug them, kiss them, get in her car and get the fuck on. <laughs> Some weird shit. Now this other lady, she's still getting the kids together. I don't see a plate in the front. Usually when you don't see a plate in the front, it's probably a Pennsylvania plate. If it's a Pennsylvania plate, the fuck they dropping off in New York for? This is a weird store, too, because you see all types of plates from all over the place. Massachusetts, Pennsylvania. Weird. I'm just trying to see um, where she's going with this. One thing I noticed, though, she didn't come with a man, though. That's the one thing I noticed. She putting all the kids in the back. Except for one. I'm trying to see if this female might be a possible homosexual. I know some people out there might say, well, how do you know by looking? You know. <laughs> Just like I saw the other one was clearly a homosexual. Let me open up my other water. Got tons of water. So clearly there's some type of beef court order type shit. 
Because it is Friday. So I guess they get past the along for the weekend. Now I admit that's the kind of shit I don't like that uh people have kids. Then everybody gotta keep dropping kids off from one house to the next and shit. Fuck is a pain in the ass. And I admit that um now she's looking at me. She ain't looking too bad though. But um then again I'm holding this phone too, so I think I'm recording. But um I gotta admit with some of my kids, man, that turned into a problem. It's an unfortunate thing, but you know, when mothers get petty, you know, things happen the way they happen. Unfortunately, it is what it is. Can't rewind the clock. Can't rewind the clock on it. But, um, it's like black women, man, they, they love taking their time. And so that white lady, she, she's like, man, Kiss and hug, get my car, get the fuck on. This lady taking 50 million years. That's the way black people do. But, um... <clears throat> I'm just waiting to see the license plate, that's all. Because <laughs> she doesn't have a plate in the front. Only state I know that doesn't require, a, uh, at least in the Northeast, that doesn't require a plate in the front is Pennsylvania. And again, if they come in, if one is from New Jersey, the other one's from Pennsylvania. I'm like, what the fuck are they dropping off here for? Unless they somebody just moved here or they want to be in a neutral state. I don't get it. But, um, I see video games on sale too. She's pulling off now. Let me see. Oh, no, it's a Connecticut plate. I thought they were supposed to have a plate in the front. I guess she figured her car was so special she, she didn't need it. So, New Jersey and Connecticut dropping off in New York. Okay. <laughs> I, I don't get it. I don't get it. But it's not for me to get because it's none of my business. <laughs> but I'm just looking. See, now here's a car with a Massachusetts plate, another one with a Pennsylvania plate. This is apparently a popular uh, drop off uh, hub destination, apparently. I'll tell you where I'm at. I'm at a Wegmans market in Harrison, New York. That's where I'm at. <laughs> So if anybody happened to have spotted me out here, hey, there you go. But um, let me get back to what I was saying. As far as the the handoff, I'm seeing it now. You know when Biden said we got to start looking towards these uh, Hispanics. Why? Again, I asked Freemasons this too. Because these Freemasons act like they taking care of some business, some serious business, worrying about some bullshit, uh, uh, Kimmet. But I ask to you, how is all this benefiting black people? They wholesale, they import people and let them live the good life. Oh yeah, I forgot to finish up the story. So in the building and in other places I've been seeing, whether it's apartment buildings or just other jobs, period. And I kind of mentioned this in other videos, too. They have the white man at the top, unless it's an Indian that owns a business or a Mongol Asian. Then you got Mexicans that they put in various positions or South American Hispanics, even if they're not Mexican, give them a good job, cozy job, give it to them. And the key word is give, not they didn't earn, 
You know how white people always say you got to work hard for what you want? They don't work hard for nothing. They get, they, they're getting it. Give it to them. But when it's you and me, work hard. So, so they run the shit. And then they'll put the, you know, the same routine like they used to do when it was white. Put black people at the lowest level job that's above, um, you know, custodian and all that kind of shit. Just for visibility purposes. To say you got black people working here. uh, We're a diverse company. But they're not diverse when it comes to that fucking pay. And black people got to stop acting black on the job. Act professional. I said it before. When you keep acting black. You know, singing along the songs and shit like that. And saying, hey, my brother, and all that kind of shit. You don't want to do that. Make it hard for you to advance. But um, but that's what they do. That's the new style. Hispanics are being placed in this position. And when you combine that, when you go on these uh, channels on YouTube, police activity... And anything concerning police and body cam footage. You see the comments. It's a cultural thing. This is how they do. Uh, Blacks. Who else uh, would you expect? The usual suspects. But of course when it's anybody else doing a crime. Asian, Hispanic, white. You don't see none of those kinds. In fact you see people trying to feel bad for the goddamn killer. And the criminal. But when it's the black killer and the, and the black criminal, hang them. They shouldn't have even been able to live five seconds later on. That's what they do. It's a fucking annoying. But that, you could tell, is a part of the propaganda. And this is what's going on. I mean, it, it, it's hard to counter propaganda. And that's why, I, again, I asked the Freemason, black people. How is this helping us? I mean, are you people being fooled into thinking that you're doing something positive for this brotherhood? Because this brotherhood seems to be benefiting everybody else. It ain't benefiting us. Hispanics being in control of us, that ain't benefiting us. I mean, you're talking, it's not. Even Hispanics has just been in this country. I mean, it's fucking imported. Motherfuckers is not even from here. That's why black people, man, I have to get it together. I mean, what's what motherfuckers moving from one position in the parking lot to the next? <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Sleeping in the car? And now this motherfucker, he's like, man, this motherfucker moved next to me. Let me move the fuck away from him. <laughs> Some crazy shit going on here. One lady just parked her fancy, what is it, 550 i BMW. Looks like a new model. Parked it all the way to the back. She don't give a fuck about walking all the way to the front. That's why you gotta get those body side moldings. Because I put that shit on my car, they, they definitely work. Now, like I said before, somebody uh, apparently swung their door hard enough into my car that it took some paint off of the body side molding. But at least they didn't take it off the door. That's why you got to get that touch-up paint. But some people are fucking assholes, man. I mean, there ain't nothing you can do. And I tell you, I, I really hate when I park my car alone by itself and there's nobody around. And there's enough gaps in between where I parked the car at and where the next uh, parked cars are at where you would think that, okay, whoever's coming around looking for a parking space, they would park where the gaps are at. But no, 
motherfuckers want to park not only next to your car, but very close to your car. So that you have a hard time getting in. And I say to myself, what kind of fucker does this kind of shit? Especially when they don't even know who the fuck you are. It's fucking pain in the ass. I mean, it's fucking annoying. Another thing, I, I can't stand this. Fucking, uh... Inside, um, I guess your breath or all that defrosting shit inside of the window is hard to get that shit off permanently. It's pain. Yeah, I hate that shit. That annoys me. I gotta do it now since I see it. <laughs> Blow out one of those fucking devices. I'm supposed to take that shit off. That green device, I'm sure you've seen it. And to me, it ain't really all that uh, special. You get those, I think the best solution is still to get those blue shop car automotive paper towels. And we put a little bit of that, uh, cleaner up there, window cleaner, where, where it's mostly, still mostly dry, and then that'll get it off. The best, I had it, had it done well, and then made a mistake and touched it again, but uh, <laughs> that I can't stand, but um, that shit fog is in the rear window now, god damn. I'm getting tired of this um, type of weather where it's cool. I was looking at this shit, but it's where it's cool and warm at the same time. <laughs> it's crazy. I ain't even getting nothing from this store anyway. That's a problem. You should be seeing it all around where you're at. Where Mexicans are getting placed in the... And we're worrying about these fucking so-called migrants. That's why they have black Negro uh, mayors put in a place. So that when it's uh, done, you can't blame the white man. It's these Uncle Tom House Negroes that did it. But see, that's the problem with Freemasonry. You obey the brotherhood. And in exchange for obeying the brotherhood, you get fame and you get the uh, salary of these mayors. And then, of course, when you're a mayor of a city, especially a major city, you go down in the history books. <clears throat> then you could probably write a book. Get on TV. All that type of shit. These are the things that take place. White man is clever. The Negro. Again, this is why I keep thinking that. When black people go to the Freemason uh, meetings that they probably get taught. Listen, do this, do that. The meek shall inherit the earth. You know, you might be last, but you're going to be first. <laughs> Getting tricked into destroying yourselves, you know? That's why you see all the Freemason uh, agents on uh, YouTube. They always say we're our own worst enemy. They're, they're not lying. Because <laughs> they're the ones. Now, I, I, I'm dying to see something uh, different. Somebody show me just a little something different. I'll be happy. 
But unfortunately, I'm not seeing anything different now. It just seems to be getting worse and worse. Because when you put people in position, money is real. Job titles are real. Power over Negroes is real. Even if they have to answer to the white man, which of course they do. But the point is, it's still real. Because none of that power is going to us. So, again, I always ask, what is this Kimmich shit? Well, I mean, what the fuck is that doing for you? Now, again, I have my suspicions on why Kimmich is being taught. And if it is as deep as I think it could be, like I said, it'll be extraordinary and fascinating. But if it is that, shit ain't doing nothing for us. Everybody else is doing their thing and even giving their thing. Then we got coons like the Tariq Nashi talking about uh, reparations, knowing that that motherfucker, he's just taking his orders from the white man. The small hat. Everything he says. These motherfuckers. Damn. Again, I'm far away from the entrance now. Everybody, they want to come around where I'm at. I don't get the shit. <laughs> I don't get it. But anyway. But Tariq Nashi, he takes orders from white men. Everything he says is coming from the small hat. And again, every time he has those white guys on, he, you notice if the white guy, the so-called white supremacist, if they don't say too much, Tariq will keep him on. Hey, what'd you say? I'll meet your mic. Is that all you got to say? But when it's a black person, let me land your plane. They could be in the middle of a good conversation. I don't know what he's saying. Let me land this plane. Because those are the real callers. The fake callers are the so-called white supremacists who call up because he's looking for them. Those are the ones he has to engage with. And he always calls them, sir. He gives them respect. Again, I've never heard him refer to one of them as a cracker or a devil. Not one time. But every time a black person gets on the phone or gets off of the phone, he immediately calls them a nigger. Or, or claims that they're working Postmates or some shit like that. So he's a snob. He gets money from people. Now he's a snob. Wants to put down black people's job, but he's not providing these jobs for these black people. Is he? Of course not. He's a coon agent. He's too dumb to do anything for you. He is under the employ of the white man. He has these bogus conversations that act like he's fighting white supremacy. When your mind should tell you, why would they be hunting for Tariq Nashi? Why would they be going on his live? And how come they always keep getting on? See, white, if he was truly opposed to them, he said, get your white ass off this goddamn line. Like other people do on YouTube. But instead, he gives them the floor, rolls out the red carpet. They can speak as long as they want to speak. And it's only when they keep pressing them about the small hats does he say, okay, I'm tired of this. And even those callers that call in and say, why do you protect the Jews? Those are Jews. They're just testing his ass out. See how far he's going to go. That's all they're doing. And he has to take their fucking call. That's why he is taking their calls. But it is what it is. Me, I know I'm getting tired of... If you know, haven't noticed, I haven't been making too many videos. The agents, they are employed by the white man, sponsored by the white man. 
Now you just got confirmation the other night that Brandon has people make his uh thumbnails. See, I gotta make my own. Most of these other people, you could tell when they're cookie cutter uh template type uh uh, uh thumbnails. You could tell they got somebody making this shit for them. People uh skilled in uh promotion and advertising and shit like that. Come on, man. So they're part of a team. Like, you know, like when you see Marcellus Wiley and others, pro athletes or anybody like that who had a name, they're getting paid and promoted by other groups that have these YouTube channels. That's why they always curse when they speak to, uh, you know, they do it on purpose, even if they don't have to, because it's designed to make you make the viewer say, oh, they're free. They're not constrained by ESPN. This is raw. So that's why they got to say shit or fuck. Stephen A. Smith with his show. Uh, when he's cursing. You know, it's to make it seem like it's raw. But yet. If somebody like me curses. Oh, this is bad language. Not suitable for advertisers. I've seen other people. With barely as many subs as I have, or less, they can offer memberships. They get super chats. What the fuck do I... I my shit is just totally stopped. So, what I'm thinking about doing... <clears throat> like I said, I had a, another channel... That was parked. I started turning into something, but then software issues... Started happening... Then I had to redo my computer. So one of the software that I use, bootleg, of course, having an issue reinstalling it. So kind of backed off of the shit just a little bit. And it's going to take me a while to get to <laughs> enough subs the way I was doing it. So my plan now, I think I'm going to change that channel around to uh, another Alquan channel. Matter of fact, you know about that guy that took the other Al Alquan channel. Then gonna take my goddamn uh, Cash App name. This is why people got changed names to shit that are not related to the shit, you know. Then that way I'll go live again. Cause I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you, I, I hate seeing YouTube restrict me from doing shit. Subs don't grow. Can't get paid. Yeah, I wasn't doing it for the pay, but God damn it. If they're telling me this is why you can't get paid, but everybody else can go two and three steps beyond what I'm doing and still get paid, you would get just a little bit pissed off. I mean, God damn. How the fuck? Why, why are they allowed to get paid, but I can't? They're doing everything, breaking the rules 10 times about what you said I'm doing. But it goes to show when you come in with the real shit that you can prove, they don't want you on. But you come with that nigga shit and that coon shit, you can get paid. So, I don't know if I'm going to uh, tell you what the, the uh, channel to go to. I got to come up with a clever name. Uh, <laughs> and then I'm going to need people to subscribe. <clears throat> I think I'm going to need a thousand subs on that, which I should be able to get with ease. See, there's no, you don't have a fair uh, way of playing this YouTube game. That's the way shit. Then this lady went all the way to the store and come out with one little ass bag. <laughs> That's the lady with the BMW. <clears throat> you know, another thing, too, I notice when I'm in uh, some of these rich towns. Let's see, she looked to see that I'm still here. This lady looks like she's short as fuck, too. Got nice clothes on, too, but she's short as a motherfucker. 
She's barely as tall as the motherfucking car, the 5 Series BMW. Next to her, that looks like a... What do they call those shits, those cross, crossovers, I think? The, the giant hatchback ones? That's how short she is. But that's just a regular sedan. <laughs> I don't know how the fuck she drive with some fucking heels on. God damn. She got some heel boots on. I don't know how the fuck they do that shit. I could hardly drive with regular boots on. Man boots on. That's not heels, of course. Um... But anyway, they, I, I mean, we need an equal and fair play playground on, on YouTube. Let people do what the fuck they could do to see who can attract what. See, then they got people like me. People know who the fuck I am, but yet you look at my subs, you look at video numbers, it looks like I'm not doing nothing. And that's the whole purpose of what they doing what they do is to shut your ass down so other people will come along and say, oh, this guy ain't about shit. He ain't, he ain't big. But then their agents they put out there, the Hassan Campbells and all these other people, you see their numbers. Because you think about a Hassan Campbell, I think he got over half a million uh, subs. Think about it. Yeah, I'm talking. Think about it. Why would he have that many subs? What the fuck is he doing and saying to get you get that many subs? Really? And then there are others who are popular in name, but they don't have that many subs. They barely, even like you take a linen honor. <laughs> My man taking his, uh, putting that tire shine on his car. <laughs> so I used to do that shit. Then I got tired of doing that shit. I just get it done when I go to the car wash. <clears throat> but I did buy some of that ceramic uh, coating shit. I tried putting the shit on a, a little here and there. I, I didn't see anything that um looked like it should look. But, you know, I didn't take my time doing it. And again, I came out the house. I didn't even take the bottle with me. I could be doing it right now. Uh... So we're not getting free, uh, equal uh, uh, time to do anything. So that's why the Rumble, people notice I started uploading the Rumble again. But the problem is now I realize with Rumble, I think I got about, it's either a couple of hundred videos, 300 or more. Plus the shit that I said I was going to put up there. I think the next one I'm going to put up there is, because it's Big J is a, is a jackass. And he probably didn't think that I recorded that show when that motherfucker was lying all night. Lying all night for three hours straight. I don't even know if they got that show so they'll, they won't. And Rumble, they can't go around doing that shit they pull on YouTube. But I think they'll like my putting this show up because I don't even think that they... Uh, I think that show got taken down when their channel got taken down. But this was the show where... It was one of those clips, I think it was about the slave ships and the shipworms. I'm going to play the whole show. And you can see just how badly Big J, Triple X lies so goddamn much. Motherfucker's a liar. So I did see that show up there. But it's just Rumble. See, YouTube, you can upload quite a few videos at a time. And um, Rumble, it's one at a time. Then there's nothing really automated about it. So you got to fill in every goddamn thing all the fucking time. So that, that part of it is the pain in the ass. <clears throat> then it's like once you uploaded it, then you got to hit submit. Which I think is stupid. But, <laughs> it, you know, it is what it is. But, and I did make a little money on Rumble. I made seven cents so far. <laughs> and I'm on TikTok now. One thing I can say I like about the TikTok is I had, for this other channel, I had a series of small clips that I was going to put on YouTube to try to get some money out of that. 
and reviews of food. So somebody may have seen it already. I did the Doritos, uh, Southwestern Doritos. Those were those were some nasty shits, man. Those shits were so nasty and tasteless that I I actually threw the bag out. I mean, there are some disgusting stuff out there that you might buy, but it's still okay. I'll eat it. And I won't buy it again, but this one was so disgusting. I said, I got to throw this shit out. So I don't see those shits anymore. So I was going to put all that kind of shit on YouTube. But I never got around to it. But then I, I, once I started the TikTok, then that's when I realized, you know what? Looks like TikTok is the better place for that kind of shit. So we'll see how much money can be earned with that or not. I, I somehow doubt anything's going to happen with that, but... That'll be good for the small clips and shit. I think I might like that better. So subscribe to the TikTok. I don't know. I, I might put the uh, the the link on the uh, thing. I had the thing downloaded. I just never signed up for it until the other day. Put about three or four things up there. I, I think I'm going to put my prime cuts up there. I can't put them all up there because I think it's only uh, up to 10 minutes or whatever. <clears throat> And uh, I was trying to put some other shit that I recorded on the phone. So that's what that's what the TikTok is going to be good for. Shit like that. Shit that I feel is too short to make a video on YouTube about. But just right for TikTok. So I'm going to be putting videos like that up there. Which I probably recorded over the course of a few years. But I just never put them on YouTube because... I just thought they were too short and required clever editing. So I said, fuck that. So, you know, that's what I'm going to do. But again, with the main theme is we're being replaced right before our eyes. And we're too dumb to do anything about it. We got to stop listening to these uh, uh, Morris type people. Uh, Freemason, Nation of Islam, Kemet. All that, all that type of shit. Nothing but a waste of fucking time. It's not wasting their time because they're getting paid. But it's a waste of your time. Fuck gives a fuck about Kimmy. You know the fucking end result of the shit. The end result is that they lost and they're not in control of their country. You lost and you're not even going to Kemet to try to fight for the people to take control of the country. Pan-Africanism is only recently starting to go into North Africa because people like me forced their hand. So now they want to try to act like they been down with all Africa before. Even the Afro think tank now posting about uh, black North Africans. They used to totally ignore North Africa. Say it was Arab. Now, all of a sudden, they want to get down with North Africa. Because I convinced them, I told them, you can't leave the shit alone. You keep talking this Kemet, Kemet shit. How are you going to talk about, take a trip to Africa from 3,000 years ago? But you want to dismiss the shit now and say, oh, well, we lost it. Nothing we can do about it. There is, there's always something you can do about it if you really want to do something about it. Just the way you harass us about being a fucking African. You can go there, mix in, teach the people about Kemet, their ancestors. Teach them to rise up. You can go to Sudan and do that shit, but you don't want to do that. Because you're not really a pan-African. You're full of shit. I'm talking about all of them, not anybody in particular. <laughs> so this car is getting fogged up. Uh, we got some wild-ass temperatures here. I was watching one YouTube video. I see that even Michigan got Michigan got the same type of wild ass temperatures, man. I'm getting tired of this type of shit. Either get cold or stay warm, but instead we get this type of in between weather where the 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 thermometer says it's 53, but the overtones of the air is is, is wintry. <laughs> it's just fucking crazy. But um. All I can say, man, 
black people you're gonna get together because it's coming it's right before your eyes just if you can't see it before your eyes i don't know what to tell you but the takeover the trend the force takeover is happening right now and if reparations like i said reparations is the only thing that's gonna save us at this point now for you black freemasons you gotta ask your white man your white master What's up, boss? What you doing? If they keep telling you to wait, you know they're full of shit. So with that, I'm out.